What up, YouTube? We got an April uh, 18th through April 23rd edition of Motown Mail. Um, here's what I got. Uh, this is actually a TTM success for my Hall of Fame ball PC. Uh, one of the newest members of the Hall of Fame. None other than Pat Gillick with the Hall of Fame 2011 inscription on an official Major League ball. Sent that to the Phillies address. Um, so nice addition to the Hall of Fame ball PC. He's an executive, not a player. Um, but didn't cost me anything other than the cost of the you know fifteen dollar ball, which is insane to you know crazy price for a single unsigned ball. But it is what it is. So I got that. Um, so you know with postage and everything, just twenty bucks. So not too bad. Um, got this one. Bought this on eBay. Got it on a good good price on it. Um, on an official American League Bobby Brown ball. It is the knuckleballer himself, Phil Necro. So that's another nice addition to the Hall of Fame. Ball PC. Yo, what up, JP? Nice addition right there. So I need 19 more living Hall of Famers. And for what it's worth, I am in need of Tommy Lasorda, Dick Williams, Doug Harvey, who I sent a TTM request to, but still haven't gotten it back. Uh, Jim Bunning, Whitey Herzog, Bob Gibson, Sandy Koufax, that's going to be a fun one to get. Uh, Bill Mazeroski, Steve Carlton, Rod Carew, Mike Schmidt, Burt Blylevin, Dave Winfield, Jim Rice, George Brett, Gary Carter, Dennis Eckersley, Robin Yount, and Roberto Alomar. Those are the living Hall of Famers that I need on a single signed uh, official ball. So, but I'm picking them up one or two every week, so it's getting a little pricey, but whatever. Um, TTM. There's, there's rumor that these are go-signed, I don't know, um, but I got them anyway, uh, just in case they're not. I guess we'll find out later on. Uh, Jimmer Fredette from uh, BYU, first round pick, uh, signed two floorboards. I mean, it took like a month and a half to get back. Usually go-signers don't take that long, but I don't know. Um, got these from, let's go with these next. Got this because he's an underrated quarterback, so he's going to have a stellar career. Already off to a good start. Uh, from 2010, SP Authentic, uh, SP Chirography. Um, unfortunately, it's a sticker auto, but it's pretty clean looking. Uh, Josh Freeman. So His autographs are re really getting pretty expensive, but this one was pretty reasonable. I think I paid... Uh, I think I paid like 12 or 13 bucks ship for it, which is pretty good. So I got that. Um... I got this for five bucks shipped. He's he's got an arm on him, and his strikeout uh, per nine is insane. At least it was last year. Uh, I did get him in person last year, but he didn't have cards at the time. Well, I had another memory card failure, so I did the entire video, and then I saw it. I only recorded about thirty percent of it. So here we go again. Uh, I think I stopped it. He had an arm on him, uh, or has an arm on him. Fabio Martinez Mesa, uh, prospect for the Angels. I uh, got that for under five bucks shipped. Um, got him last year on some index cards and a ball, but he didn't have any cards. So that's a nice on-card autograph from 20, uh, 2010 Bowman Platinum. So a nice looking autograph right there. Um, got these from the Hobby Shop. 8 by 10s of a couple former Cubbies. First, Paul Popovich. Uh, played with the Cubs in the 60s and 70s. Infielder. Didn't have a real terrific year. Played with the Cubs from uh, 64. 4 to 67, and then 68 to 73. So I got that. Uh, I got this one, Larry Bittner. Played with the Cubs in the, in the late uh, 70s, and then in 1980 as well. Got a little smudge on that one. On the, oh, I didn't notice that until I got home, but I just paid 5 bucks a piece for those at the card shop, so those are pretty cool for the price. Um, I got this TTM from DJ LeMahieu. I sent this last year, the Daytona Cubs address, high affiliate of the Cubs, so I took a little bit of time to get back. Again, I got him in person, but he didn't have cards at the time, so that's a nice success there from DJ LeMahieu. Um, got this TTM success success back today, actually. Uh, he always signs in pen, so got to be happy that I got it back. It's a uh, Keith Moreland. He took uh, Ron's, the late Ron Santos' place in the WGN radio booth for the Cubs, um, opposite Pat Hughes. So, been listening to him on the radio lately, got that for my 90 score set, and then a couple more, in 1988 Leaf, really hard to see that one, with his Cubs uniform, then an 81 Tops in his Phillies uniform, getting hard to see, but he always signs in pen, so. 
Um, I got this for the 90 score set over on sportscollectors.net. Tim Rock Reigns. Nice looking autograph right there. Somewhat legible, actually. So that's a nice addition to the 90 score set, which is coming along pretty slowly. But every time I see one available, I'll pick one up if I need it. Um, got this on sportscollectors.net as well. Just kind of a random autograph. Uh, Jackie Chan. <laughs> Um, with the with the love you inscription, so no homo on my part, maybe his, I don't know. Uh, but Jackie Chan on a uh, Donner's Americana card, so that's pretty cool. Signed in uh, both ways with the 2009 date that he signed it, so that's kind of cool. Um, I got these. This is I got this for a buck eighty five shipped, and it cost him a dollar seventy one to ship it. Made fourteen cents on it, minus his eBay fees. He lost money on this one. Two thousand eleven National Treasures jersey of Michael Turner, numbered seventeen of ninety nine. Really happy. Got it for a buck eighty five shipped. Usually those go for at least six seven bucks, considering the product. So very happy with that. And then I got the patch version as well, numbered uh, twenty nine of fifty. Three card patch of Michael Turner. I don't know, I forget how much I paid for that. It was like ten bucks or something. So twenty nine of fifty three card patch of the burner. And I'll be having a PC video of the burner in a couple days. Um, I'll be linking it to Sictiver 2024's um, PC Showcase Troy Chilowitzki video. Yo, what up, Chris? Um, so, yeah. Um, I got these. This is, I usually don't pick up um, just numbered cards of Turner. Um, but if it's the personal one of one, the 11 of 25, which is my birthday, I'll pick it up. Strange, I know, but I'll do it. It's a 2009 Bowman Chrome. I guess this is the orange refractor. Not sure, but pretty cool. Whatever, a couple bucks shipped. Why not? Uh, this one pissed me off. I bought this over at sportscollectors.net for five shipped. Good price, but when you person ships it in a plain white envelope, it's not really a good deal then because it gets bent up because it's a jersey card. Uh, it's bent up twice, two creases right above the each corner in the R cutout. David Lee, 2005-2006 SPX Rookie Auto, Jersey Auto. Uh, it's numbered, nice numbering, numbered 1,000 of 14.99, but again, it's creased, so. And uh, told him he shouldn't ship it in PWEs, and he pretty much told me it's a good idea to ship in PWEs, so. Whatever. My memory card's probably not working right now anyway, so. That's all I got for now. I want to thank you for watching, and as always, please stay safe.